To start off our journey into approximate methods for quantum mechanics, we're going to look at a concept called the variational principle. So we've got this psi naught here, which is going to be the exact ground state wave function. So note here that this is the ground state. So this variational principle is only going to work for ground state wave functions. It will not work for excited states. And we have this E naught, which is the exact ground state energy. And we have some Schrodinger equation where we know that the Hamiltonian H psi naught equals E psi naught, that we get the energy back as the eigenvalue of the Hamiltonian, and psi naught is an eigenfunction of that Hamiltonian for whatever system we're talking about. Then we know that the expectation value for this energy, this E naught, can be found by taking the integral of psi star H psi over the entire range of that function, this uh, Dirac bracket here, and then that divided by the integral over the entire range of the wave function of psi star psi, so normalization. If it's normalized, then this denominator here just becomes 1, and your normalized expectation value is just this type of integral up here. And what we're going to look at is in the case where we have some approximate wave function phi, so this is going to be some approximate. Uh, again, we'll just say that it's a ground state wave function. For this phi, we're going to have this phi is going to have some energy as well. And how does this the energy of this function relate to the to this e naught here? Well, this e of phi its expectation value is going to be a similar type of integral. It's going to be the integral of phi star h phi over the normalization of phi, phi star phi integral from uh, over the entire range of that function there. And what the and this is not going to be some eigenfunction of the Hamiltonian. It's not necessarily going to be uh, an exact eigenfunction. But the variational principle uh, very simply states that the energy of any trial wave function of any approximate wave function e of phi is going to be greater than or equal to the ground state energy. And this is true for all choices of phi. So any wave function in the world that we pick, which is not the true or the exact ground state wave function, is going to give us a higher energy than the true wave function. So we can use this to determine the quality of an approximate wave function by how well it reproduces, how well it approaches the true ground state energy. And if we have a system where we make our wave function depend on some variational parameters, like for example, let's say we have some wave function e phi, which depends on some parameter lambda, we know that that's always going to be greater than or equal to e naught, the true energy, again, where this lambda is some parameter that we pick in the wave function, we make it depend on some parameter, like it could be e to the minus gamma x squared, and gamma could be a parameter, things like that. And if we have then our wave function, depending on this parameter, what we can do is calculate the expectation value of the energy for phi, for this uh, wave function depending on this parameter, and then we can set the derivative of the energy of this trial function with respect to the parameter to be equal to zero. And then we'll have whatever the minimum energy um, value of, of lambda is. So if we imagine um, some coordinate space here where we have the energy on the y-axis and we have possible values of lambda on the x-axis of the variational parameter. And then let's say we have some true energy, the exact energy E naught there, for various values of lambda 
we're going to have different e of lambda. So this will be e phi of lambda. And by setting this first derivative equal to 0 and picking that value, assuming it's a minimum point as well, but assuming that, then we can get the energy which most resembles the exact ground state energy. And then we can get um, um, the best wave function, which also resembles a ground state wave function. So the best wave function we can get in the type of functional form that we have chosen is one where we have minimized the energy against the value of this parameter. So this here would be, I guess, e phi of lambda min, the minimum energy parameter. So that's the variational principle, and we're going to do some examples with this and look at how this helps us for some quantum mechanical systems which we cannot solve exactly.